Hi, John Grenham here again. Um, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the, the problems of searching online databases, particularly parish register databases. Um, it, it's a, a, I have to say that the talk is a form of therapy, okay, to stop the steam coming out of my ears. Um, most of it is going to be about Ancestry.com rather than about my own site, but um, there is a connection. So we'll start from there. Let's go to the site now. Okay, here we are at the site. I'm going to go into the, the Catholic parish maps and zoom down to Cork, down to the fair parish of Bantry, down in southwest Cork. Okay, like the rest of the site, the, the entries for the parishes on the site, the aim is to give uh, a, an overview of what records there are, what years are covered, how you get access to them, links to them if they're online, and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> most, the vast majority of them are the National Library of Ireland microfilm copies, coming up only to 1880, as you can see, a bit early, but there we go. Um, they're imaged online. You can click there to go to the National Library site. They're transcribed at Ancestry and Find My Past. Um, they're free on Find My Past to search, though you do have to register. Um, there's another copy as NLI, so also taken from the National Library of Ireland microfilms at irishgenealogy.ie. I'll be coming back to that because that, that's quite important. It's a different transcript of the same microfilms, so it's worth keeping that in mind. But this is what I'm particularly interested down here, this peculiar set of <clears throat> years that don't match anything, that come up to 1917, um, that are on Ancestry, and about which I say the images are tra not tra transcribed with accompanying browse index. That's cumbersome. Let me demonstrate exactly what I mean by that. Okay, this collection is completely separate to the National Library of Ireland collection that they have. Um, it came from, if you look at the, the sources, Dublin E Celtic Limited. Um, does the Catholic parish church know they're, they're there? Or the parish is given permission? Okay, enough said. Um, let me just pick Cork and Bantry. So one of the things you'll see about it is that it's a much smaller set of records than the National Library one. The only parish they have from County Cork is Bantry. <clears throat> and these are the, the list of, of years that we saw on the um, on listing on the website here. Um, okay, we want to search, when you're testing a database, particularly when you're testing a, a database covering Cork, Murphy is a sure fire hit. So we're looking for any baptism of a Murphy um, between, say, 1830, 18, 1830 and 1850, so 1840, plus or minus 10 years. Okay, and obviously we want it to be in Bantry. So Bantry, um, we have two options, Bantry Cork, Ireland, and Bantry Parish Cork, Ireland. And we search. And what is this? Sligo. Bantry, Cork. What about, okay, we'll do adjoining counties. So Kerry and Tipperary and uh, Waterford. And we've updated it. And do we have any Murphys in Bantry? No, zero good matches. You must be joking me. There are no Murphys in Bantry, according to this. Okay, let's go back. Bantry. Let me go into some of the, let's say the 1823 to 1866 selection here and show you what they have. When I say these are fresh scans, they're high definition, full color scans. You can smell the ink off the page. You can see there's a little bit of a, a pencil notation. There are orders of magnitude better. They're wonderful images, but you can't, you're not searching them through the, the Ancestry inter interface. So how do you just have to go through them one by one, page by page? Please, God, no. Okay, this little link to the index here reveals that there is a complete transcript of every page. Well, not complete. It has the child's name. It has a date, an approximate date. It has the father's name, mother's name, um, and the child's name. And you, the only way to search this is to go through the index page by page 
by page by page. Okay. Um, it's a lot less painful than going through the image. Um, and it would be even more painful if Ancestry actually made it searchable via the main interface, but it's here. Um, so you're searching this wonderful collection of images from, from Bantry and you're not finding what you want and you move on somewhere else. No, 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 no. Don't trust them. Go in, do it by hand if need be. Okay, let's go back and look at some of the other ones. You see, that would be um, interesting enough if, if this was true for the entire collection, if they hadn't transcribed any of it and made it searchable here. But they haven't, that's not what they've done. So for example, for Carlo, they have five parishes, well, four parishes, um, and they're not transcribed. So you have to go in and search the, the, the browse index. Uh, for a leash, that's Queen's County to you, mate. Um, they are searchable. So go figure, tread very carefully, tread very warily, don't trust what they tell you. Um, if they present the images, use the images. And they are, they are wonderful images. Let me just show you, give you a, a, a contrast between, say, for let's pick a Bodike in Clare, okay? 19, well, that's not a good example because it's the National Library won't have it. But you can do it for yourself. You can look at the National Library um, version and... Look at this, and it is orders of magnitude less readable. It is partly out of focus. It's black and white. It's um, slightly overexposed. It has stripes, it has scat scratches. Oh my God, no, okay? Um, so the ancestry have about 70 going on on 80 parishes that they've partly transcribed they don't have a, i don't think they have all the records of any they come much later in some cases than in others some of them are transcribed some of them are only browse indexed um it's a it's a wonderful collection um just if you're used to using the microfilms if you spent so much of your life using the bloody microfilms as i have um it's wonderful to see them there but it would you know it would be nice if they just did it properly Anyway, that's one thing. Um, a separate uh, problem about, I, I mentioned the, the, the double transcripts. So for example, here in Bantry, there is a transcript uh, on ancestry and there on find my past, and there's a transcript on irishgenealogy.ie. What I'm gonna do is compare a search of the two of them. Um, so I'm gonna go to, the other collection, the National Library of Ireland collection on ancestry, a little bit hard to confine your search to a particular uh, a particular record collection on this site. Okay, Ireland Catholic Parish Registers, 1615 to 1915. Okay, records from over a thousand Catholic parishes, that's the National Library one. So in we go to that. All right, <clears throat> now, again, we're looking for a Murphy. But this time we have the parents' names. Um, again, we want 1840 plus or minus 10 years. We know the father is Patrick. And we know the mother is Ellen Mahoney. Patrick Murphy and Ellen Mahoney are sort of the default surnames of everybody in Cork. So um, this is this should find something. Um, well, let's see, we want them to be in Cork. So Cork, let's see what happens. Cork, Ireland. Um, Ancestry doesn't seem to be quite clear about whether it's city or county or what exactly a county is. But anyway, let's, we put them in. We've got our, 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 our ducks in a row. Let's fire the cannon and see what happens. Okay, Patrick Murphy. Okay, that looks like a, a hit in St. Finbar's. Okay, but that's, that's 46,800. Why, thank you, Ancestry. What a very fertile couple. Let's try and make it a bit more um, precise. So we make Patrick and Mahoney. And what have we got here? Okay, we have 1841, Patrick Mahoney, uh, Patrick Murphy, Ellen Mahoney. 1832, Patrick Murphy, Ellen Mahoney. The name, surnames are so common that you can't be 100% sure this is the same family, but there's a good racing chance 
And Ancestry has also very helpfully thrown in completely irrelevant records. So we found two, Patrick in 1841, John in 1832. So <clears throat> what about what happens when we go to the transcript of the same records on Irish genealogy? Okay, let's go and look. All right, so this is the church record section on irishgenealogy.ie. We go into more, okay, we want a Murphy. We want a baptism. We want it from 1830 to 1850, a much more intuitive way of specifying the eight year ranges, I find. We want the parent to be Patrick Murphy, and you have to include the parent's surname or you're going to get Uncle Tom Cobley and all. Um, spouse, uh, no, we don't, we want the parent to be Ellen Mahoney, M A H O N Y, and search. And we have one Catherine Murphy of Pat Murphy and Ellen Mahoney in South Parish in Cork in 1846. So, two things here. Ancestry found us two records, one in Passage West and one in, uh, in South Parish. Okay. The, this transcript on Irish genealogy is of South Parish as well, but it missed the earlier, it missed the 1842 one, but it's found one that Ancestry missed. Okay. So swings and roundabouts. If, if my listing shows you that there is a swing and there is a roundabout, use both of them. Don't trust just one of them. OK, they're all flawed, some more flawed than others. I think the Ancestry uh, and Find My Past transcripts are actually seriously flawed. Um, but the flaws are not the same as the ones that there are in Irish genealogy. So, you know, they, they maximise your chances. Uh, go for boat swings and roundabouts and... Um, I hope one of the things, don't give up. If you don't find what you're, you're looking for in an online database, um, the fault could be you. It could be you entering the wrong information or too specific information, but more, like, more than likely, the problem is with the database. And there are ways of getting at it, getting around it, getting multiple copies. So anyway, I, um, as I said at the outset, this was a kind of therapy for me to stop the steam coming out of my ears. It has stopped coming out of my ears, I'm glad to see. Um, and I hope it helps to stop the steam coming out of your ears. Um, I wish you good luck, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.